In today's video, I'm going to show you how to build this quick dynamic calendar right in Google Sheets from scratch. And it includes things like highlighting the current date and then including highlighting for holidays and vacations that you can quickly and easily add to as well. And so, for example, we could add a vacation here for 11 20 24, and you can see it popping up right there. So first off, I'm going to set my columns here. So I'm going to select up till I right click resize and I'll go to 40. And I'm going to select the rest of these and delete them. So scroll over, hold down shift, click on that header there again, right click and delete columns. And then I'm going to delete some rows as well. So I'm just going to click on that one, scroll down, hold down shift, click on that one and then right click and delete rows. All right, so then I'm going to use this for my month drop down and then this for my year. So this will be 2024 here in a second. And this will be like November. And then I'm going to go ahead and put in these weekdays real quick. And then let's populate this drop down. So you can either do Jan or January. Either way is fine. I'm going to go ahead and populate these using the long one. And then once you have those populated, you can click on advanced options. And I'm going to do arrow just to keep this a little cleaner. And so I can have a little more customization. I'm going to go ahead and center these both ways. And then I can select November now. And I'm going to do a little formatting real quick here. So maybe something like this. And go up in size a little bit. There we go. And then I'm going to go a little bit darker, I think, on these. And kind of a similar thing. Center those. And then now we can populate our dates. And so the way I'm going to do that is using a cool trick with a formula called sequence. So what this allows us to do is populate rows and columns when we have a start. And so you can do a number, for example, or a date because ultimately dates are numbers in Google Sheets. And so I'm going to do six rows because ultimately we need a potential total of six week spots. And then columns, we're going to do seven for the number of days. And then for our start, we want the first Sunday that's before or on November 1st. And so the way we're going to do that is using a little trick. And so we're going to do date value B2, 1. And so that's putting together a string with that date. And so if we hover over this, you can see it looks like a number. And but don't worry, we're going to turn that into a date here. So now I'm going to do minus weekday. And again, that same one that I just copied and pasted and then plus one. And now we have a bunch of numbers. And so that may not seem to be super useful, but if we select these, go to our more formats, and then we could just even pick a date right now for the moment. And if I go down a little bit, you can see we're actually populating dates. So this is not where we're gonna stop. We're going to actually pick a different format. And so I have them right there, but if you don't see them, go ahead and go to custom date and time. And then what we can do here is you can just delete out all of those and then just select day. And then we can go ahead and center these just like that. We can pick a different font as well if we like. Something like that. Maybe down here. Just like that. Perfect. So now what I want to do is actually a little bit of formatting. And so first of all, I'm going to do a little bit of borders and then I'm going to do some conditional formatting just to make this look cleaner. And I'm going to select the whole thing again, go to white now instead of black and single width, and I'm going to do inside borders. So which if you notice, I did outer borders for the black and then inner borders I'm going to do in white on single width. Now I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these grid lines. So view show grid lines. Now I can select this again and add my conditional formatting. This is where we're going to start looking real cool. So 
Um, first of all, let's get rid of the ones that aren't in the current month. And so I'm going to go down to custom formula. And what I'm going to do here is month before. And then I'm basically going to do something like this. So if I can pick this here, I'm going to copy this and bring this into here and do does not equal to month of our date. Now, the one thing I need to do here is make sure I add dollar signs so this doesn't drift. Uh, let's check that out. And get out of there. Perfect. So now we're highlighting in gray the ones that aren't in the current month. And if we go to a different month, you can see those just shifted. So if we go back to September, August, you can see this is automatically updating now, whatever month we have. I'm going to go ahead and select these again. And I haven't selected all of them, but I'm just going to copy and paste this conditional formatting rule. So I'm going to click on this, do add another rule. And then I'm going to switch this does not equal, which is those two angles. I'm going to change that to equals. And now I can set this to something else. So I'm going to set this to think something like this and go a little darker, something like that. And then um, I'm actually going to do the bold in here and maybe undo the bold here. Does that look good? Yeah, I think that looks great. All right. And then I'm going to add one more conditional formatting rule here. And this one's going to be very simple. Before is equal to today. And then I'm going to change this to let's do some kind of yellow, maybe just regular yellow. We'll try this out. Now, it isn't showing up yet because we need to drag it above these other ones. So there we go. Actually, let me turn that to bold as well. So you can play around with these colors. If you want to change those colors, you can pick any kind of color you want there. Obviously, some of these don't look super good combos, but you can check that out like that. And there we go. And so now if we go to December, you can see that today formatting doesn't show up because it's not today. But this will cycle forward. So every day, this conditional formatting will pivot through here. So I'm going to show you one more thing and then we're going to wrap this up. So we have some special events here. And so I just put some dates in here. And so you can pick, add more categories if you want. And the only thing I'm going to do here is just put them all in a single column. So if you see these colors, you can probably tell maybe where I'm going to go with this. So I'm going to highlight these in this color and these in this color. And so let's look at how to do this. So we have any of these, maybe we'll pick this one here. And then what I'm going to do here equals match V4. And then what I do, want to do is match it to those special events. Now I can't reference a, another tab directly, but I can using indirect. So I'm going to do special events. And then I'm going to look in column A and then wrap up my match. And then I need to change my formatting here. And so I believe that one was like a blue. And so we'll do something like that. And then pull that one up. And there you can see. So at this point, you might have to make a decision if you want today above. Um, we probably want today before the holidays, just like that. Um, now, if we go to December, you can see there's those holidays. And again, that's actually highlighting in the next month. So potentially we might want to add as well if it's in the current month. And so let's go ahead and do that. Um, we're going to grab this one. I'm going to grab our rule here, go back up to here, and I'm going to wrap this in a and comma and another and see at the end. And there we go. So that's a little more complicated. But now if we go here, now that one isn't highlighting. And so this rule, if I do control A, copy, and then pull this out here. If I put a single quote, I can copy that formula out here. And then you can see what that looks like there. So I'm just combining those two conditions with that and. All right. So that's working great. And so now we can do the same thing for this vacation. I'm just going to take this rule, add another rule to copy it, change this to purple. 
And then here, I'm going to go hit end, just get to end of that rule, and then change this to B. And then go ahead and do that. And then go ahead and bring this one up as well. And there you go. Now it's highlighting that vocation. And so I could add those weekends as well if you want. And so in that case, we just come down like this and maybe drag it down like that. And you can see those weekends highlight as well. So it's right up to you. You could also highlight these weekends in a different color as well. So it's really up to you how you want to do that. But that is the basics of how you set this up. So that is it for today's video. Make sure to check out the other videos on our channel for more tutorials on both Google Sheets and AppScript. And as always, have a great day.